everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Karina I thought it would be fun to recreate some trendy ass outfits that I see on Pinterest all the time um, I did this video about a year ago and I know a lot of you loved it so I thought it'd be fun to just like recreate it again likewise I just finished watching Carrie's video not too long ago and it kind of just re sparked the idea of refilming this type of video Pinterest is definitely my go-to when I feel in a rut with my clothing I think it brings a new element of inspiration for me to see other people how they express themselves with style y'all know I'm a trendy ass bitch and I want to showcase to you that you don't have to have a certain body type to have the aesthetic that you want As we all know we need more body representation on all platforms so I thought it would be cool just to give you some outfit inspo on a plus size body because why not at the end of the day you do you boo it's all good in the hood so I hope you enjoyed these outfit inspos and let's get into the video. Okay, so this is my first Pinterest outfit. I wanted to stick with basics because I know basics is something that we all kind of have. Obviously these outfits are not like weather inspired because we all know Southern California is a bipolar ass and uh, <laughs> And you know, it's just all fun and games. But obviously, like I'm 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 just wearing these fits at home, so it's all good. Maybe a little quick grocery run, but it's mainly wearing these fits for myself at the house. I think this outfit really showcases how basics just elevate a whole look. A leather jacket, high-waisted jeans, tube tops, and some accessories really go a long way. I'm not sure if you can tell, but she's wearing like a light blue square toe heel, which somehow I have, so I thought it was pretty coincidental that I think this outfit is sick spot on. I honestly think it's because of the timeless like capsule wardrobe pieces such as like your high-waisted jeans or any type of jeans you like, the basic tube top and of course for me a classic staple is the leather jacket slash leather blazer. For me this is definitely an outfit I would wear but I think I would swap off the shoes and wear my Nikes or my Doc Martens instead because I just love a comfortable shoe. Y'all know I'm not afraid of color as you can tell right now I just feel like I thrive in color. When I saw the Laker colors you know they're my fave so I had to recreate this look. First off I just want to say I think it's adorable how these twins dress in opposite colors. I think this outfit really showcases how you can easily interchange and combine colors into an outfit. Like y'all know I do this a lot. I like to experiment with different colors and I feel like this is a good example of like color blocking. We have the yellow blazer, the lavender trousers and I paired it with this same square toe baby blue heel from the last outfit. I don't have a blue bag but I thought this lavender one would work great. Also, I noticed that they don't have a shirt or bra underneath this fit, so I paired a nude bra just so I don't flash y'all, but I think this outfit was meant for like the flick, you know? I really enjoy this outfit, but I don't think I would wear this out because it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. There's just so much color that I'm not used to, even though I do like color, but it's more of like four different colors in one outfit and I think also not having like a specific top underneath would make me uncomfortable. So this third outfit I really think resembles all the different trends that we've been seeing this the past couple months. We all know sweater vests are having a moment as well as funky patterns so I think this outfit really showcases those pretty well. I like the take on this outfit because even though we're dealing with two type of styles such as a sweater vest and the funky pants, they really stayed in one solid color. Because I don't own identical pieces to this outfit, I still wanted to keep around the same elements of the funky pants and the black and white. I paired my funky zebra pants. Y'all know that I'm obsessed with I wear them all the time and then I paired it with a white button up top which I tucked in and then folded in my sweater vest because if you see her sweater vest it looks more like a cropped look my sweater vest is pretty oversized so lastly I paired it with some black Mary Janes and some like tight knitted socks underneath to get the same effect yeah I think it's pretty close and I also added a little red lip because I feel like you can barely tell but it's there and I really enjoy this outfit I know this is something I would definitely wear and it's just crazy to me because I kind of made something similar like this before 
but I never thought of putting these pieces together. And that's what I like about Pinterest is that like you may own a lot of these items, but you sometimes don't think of pairing them well together and then you see someone do it and it's like, hey, why have I not done that? All right, y'all, so we're back to color for outfit number four. Do y'all notice what I'm doing? <laughs> I'm doing three outfits of color and three outfits of just like neutrals or black and white. And I don't have the exact color palette, but I think it's a great example of how you can take whatever similar item Items you have and mix and match. I knew I have this like lavender crawl dress. I think that's how you say it. I'm really bad at it. Now that I think about it, I think I've seen this photo and that is one of the reasons why I thrifted that dress. I honestly probably wanted to recreate this look a long time ago. I like the idea of how she's wearing like a pastel lavender turtleneck which that's gonna be next thing for me to thrift the only one i had was a pink turtleneck because i like the idea of layering a colored turtleneck i stick to the pink one that i have but you can definitely change the colors if you have a white one i think it would complement as well lastly i added my new pair of nikes which are like a combinations of one being different shades of blue and the other one being different shades of red i thought it'd be great to match the pink of the Nikes to the pink of the turtleneck. Honestly, I think this outfit is my favorite because you can definitely see how it's a great transitional outfit from winter to spring. The fifth outfit is what I call cozy as F. It's just giving me all the like warm and winter vibes and I think this is a great outfit to stay cozy <laughs> unlike where i live i think it'll definitely be a little bit warmer but i feel like this would be definitely great at night because it has been really chilly i think the leather pants and an oversight knit is a great combo for warmth and style i'm obsessed with square toe booties but the structure of the ones she's wearing hits so differently the only thing is my leather pants are vintage and i don't have like that taper length like how she has it mine are more like in a straight leg style so i feel like um, it doesn't hit spot on, but definitely still kind of the same vibe. Hear me out. I also just realized that most of these outfits have sunglasses. Like, how ironic is that? Like, I'm telling you this was not intentional. <laughs> really enjoyed this outfit. This is also one that I had my hair down for this because the other ones I didn't. And I definitely just like the oversized sweater because I feel like one, it just gives you a little bit more warmth. And to be honest, sometimes I need to unbuckle my pants. So if I do, you definitely won't be seeing it because of the oversized knit. All right, y'all. Last but certainly not least, another colored outfit. And it's actually the one I'm wearing right now. I really love this combination right now. I've been really into brown and green and it's like literally everywhere on my Pinterest. I actually follow this influencer. Her name is Maxine. I think she's from Australia and she's a queen at combining colors. Like I think she's one of the first persons that I've seen her rock brown with like a lot of different pastel colors and I really enjoyed that so I knew that I had to Again, I don't own the exact piece in the exact colors, but I switched out similar pieces with the colors that I own that are brown and green. So I took the green blazer, paired it with like my brown trousers, and, and then the same crop top bra that I got from Target a while ago. I added a green bag and my black sunnies because I didn't have brown ones. And not sure about the shoes where she's wearing. I feel like she's wearing them with like like some type of mule or heel but y'all know whenever i wear brown i gotta go with my brown boots actually pretty impressed with this outfit because i would never thought of combining green and brown together um because i always thought i would look like a tree but i feel like because of the white really kind of separates those two colors you don't end up looking like a tree and if i want and who cares right trees are freaking awesome they provide so much yeah. so, so i really hope you enjoyed this video i had so much fun just recreating this looks and just finding inspiration online it really does give me this side of like thinking outside of my box i feel like i could get really stuck with just like my creativity so i enjoy watching others creativity and it helps me thrive and it helps motivate me if y'all are interested in my pinterest i'll link it down below so that you can check it out if you want to find what i've been liking and how sometimes those things really inspire me into the videos i'm making all for me i hope you enjoyed this video like i said don't forget to give it a like and if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you want to keep up to date with me you can follow my instagram it is living as karina that is all for me and i'll see you soon bye